Hi, welcome to another session of Circuit and Networks. In today's class 8 under gate exam, we will see problems and solutions on dependent sources. This class we will treat as a basics for dependent sources. So, we will start with the first problem. The question which was asked in 2008 for 2 marks is the circuit shown in the figure is equivalent to a load of options A 4 by 3 ohms, B 8 by 3 ohms, C 4 ohms and D 2 ohms. The problem looks to be simple. So, you need to imagine the exact conditions or assumptions in order to solve the problem. For that, first see what kind of source is given to you. It is given here as 2i which is nothing but plus and minus. So, it becomes current control voltage source and this current is flowing over here. So, let us assume uh, input voltage as V over 4 ohms so that this voltage would be parallel to 4 as well as parallel to 2 in series with 2i. So, when you are going to apply the node analysis, the input current is i, the voltage parallel to 4 is assumed to be over here. So, the current which will be flowing in 4 ohms would be V by 4 and the rest of the current would be i minus V by 4 which will be flowing in 2 in series with 2i. So, applying KVL in clockwise direction, for this closed circuit, you have V, you have I minus V by 4 multiplied with 2 becomes another draw and you have 2I as the dependent uh, voltage source. So, applying KVL will give you the value as minus V plus 2 times of I minus V by 4 plus 2I equal to 0. I hope you understood how we have framed this equation. After simplification, we are going to obtain V plus V by 2 equal to 4i. In fact, 3V by 2 equal to 4i and we require the load. So, V by i becomes the load value whose impedance or resistance would be equal to 8 by 3 ohms. So, this is how we need to concentrate on dependent sources and that is why it is asked for 2 marks. Generally, dependent source problems are tricky for any uh, engineering exams, especially for electrical, electronics and instrumentation exams. So, you need to concentrate on the concept and see what exactly the dependent source is given and where exactly the current or voltage it is flowing. Means what? How it is getting dependent. So, this is how the concept lies for dependent source problems. So, the option is B for this particular problem. Now, the next problem where you have the circuit which is open circuited over AB. This was asked in gate 2008 for 2 marks. We need to find out the value of current. Uh, this current is flowing in anti clockwise direction. So, the question was framed like this, and the options given were 0.31 amperes, 1.25 amperes, 1.75 amperes, and 2.5 amperes. So, we have to concentrate on our basics. So, assuming two loop currents I1, I2 in this directions, that is clockwise and anti clockwise directions respectively, I2 is equal to I. So, this we need to keep in our mind, and that is what we need to find out over here. Once we are done with I2, then I is obtained. Okay, after assuming the two loop currents, let us apply KVL to loop 1, which will give us the answer as minus 5 plus 1i plus 1i equal to 0. In fact, i1 is equal to 2.5 amperes. So, this will frame as equation 1. I hope you understood how we have obtained the value of i1. Similarly, apply KVL to loop 2, starting the voltage. That in fact, this becomes voltage dependent voltage source. So, minus 4 VAB plus 3 I2 plus 1 I2 equal to 0 will give you the value of VAP which is equivalent to I2. So, framing this as equation 2 and what are the assumptions we have made? I1 is flowing in clockwise direction, I2 is flowing in anti-clockwise direction. So, the drops across 1 ohm and 1 ohm would be 
plus minus in this direction and plus minus in this direction and then let us apply KVL in clockwise we'll get minus 1 into I1 plus VAV plus 1 into I2 equal into 0 so I'm going to get minus 1 multiplied with 2.5 amperes that is I1 value plus VAV plus 1 into I2 equal to 0. In fact, I2 is equal to VAB. So, I am going to apply the value of equation 2 over here. I am going to get the value of VAB is equal to 1.25 volts. In fact, once we are going to obtain the value of VAB, we are done with I2. So, 1.25 amperes. In, in fact, that itself is nothing but a current I. So, option B would be the right answer. In the next problem, which was asked in gate 2017 for set 1, for 1 mark, we need to find out the power supplied by 25 volts source in the figure shown below in watts. Please observe the problem carefully. You have 0.4i and you have a diamond shaped box with current arrow mark. So, this becomes current controlled current source. Fine. How to solve this problem? So let us assume voltage V at the node like this. So after assuming the voltage at this particular node and assuming the current to flowing clockwise for KVL operation, applying KVL, what I'm going to get here because we have 25 volts, 17 volts, and you have V just assumed conditions. So I'm going to get minus 25 plus 17 plus V equal to zero. With that, I'm going to get the value of V as 8 volts. Framing this equation as 1, let us apply KV, KCL at node V. So you have input current as minus I as well as 0.4 I and outgoing current as 14 amperes. Okay, so minus I plus 14 minus 0.4 I equal to 0 with this, I am going to get the value of I as 10 amperes. Once I am done with the value of current, we need to find out the power supplied by 25 volt source. So 25 multiplied with 10 amperes would be giving you the value of power which is 250 watts. So this is how we solve the problems which are related to dependent sources. In the next class, we will see further more dependent source problems which were asked in the previous gate exams. I hope uh, you like this video. Please. Uh, share among your friends and subscribe subscribe to my channel and please press the bell icon for the future notifications. Thank you